So I'm getting ready to do the Pisces reading. This could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. We'll see what do we have for Pisces. So we have the Nine of Cups. This is definitely Pisces energy. So everything has turned out um, good for you. You have the Two of Swords. Now it could have been a lot of things that um, a lot of things that you could have felt was a uh, like slow moving. Like a stalemate. But whatever was in whatever was this stalemate type of energy, this was something for you to be able to gain your strength. So something could have been stalled, or you felt like something was stalled. But you needed to restore something, like you needed to restore peace. You needed to trust in the universe. You needed to think optimistic about something because this could have had you undecided about doing something if you were stalled or it was meant to have you undecided if another person tried to have you stalled. But whatever this waiting period was, it was for you to be able to hear something like you needed to listen to your inner voice before making choices or taking the next step. You have the Three of Cups. Yeah, you could be celebrating. Whatever whatever you have accomplished, you could be in the energy of celebrating with different people that you care about. Or there's going to be a reason to celebrate. You have the Musician. Yeah, it's like you're someone that have stepped into your creative power. You've adapted to something. You've built a lot of self-confidence. This is like a new beginning. You're very inspirational, inspiring. You have the Queen of Swords. And then you have the Queen of Wands. And then you have the Eight of Swords. So you were able to expose something about another person. And whatever you exposed, it had that person like trapped in fear. They were afraid of whatever you were saying or whatever you said. You have the Six of Cups. This could have been um, different things that took place in the past. Hold on one second. So you could have said something in the past that got another person caught up for something that um, they could have done in the past. You have the page of clubs popping out in the reverse. This person did something very immature. And whatever they did, they did it to another person because they felt like that person was naive. And they just wanted to have that person, like have all control over another person. This also could be that you could have spoke the truth about another person and they felt like they would be able to stop you, have you stalled, and um, you would be knocked off of your path. You have the nine of wands. This is someone who did not know that you were a fighter. You're someone that's very strong. You are someone that believes in yourself. And that self-belief gives you the strength and the courage to continue to do whatever it is that 
you were doing and you are doing. So whatever you said, it just had that person stuck. And there was no way that they can get out of whatever it is that they did in the past. You have the Seven of Cups. This person is, this is someone who is like um, off into illusions. So whatever you said, that person felt like they lost all control over somebody that they um, may have felt they had control over. It's like they promised another person something. You have the Ten of Swords. They promised another person something knowing that it would not be fulfilled. This is something that needed to end out. They just did not expect some type of truth to come from you. Like they didn't expect to get caught up with something you said. You have the sun. So now that something is over, somebody is um, able to gain their strength or take control of their self. Now that everything has been illuminated. You have the two of wands. And then you have the devil. Yeah, somebody was trying to hold another person off because they didn't want them to believe in their self. They didn't want them to believe that they were someone that was powerful. It's like they wanted that person to feel like they were, you know, they had to be attached to them. They had to be stuck to them, bound to them. And this could have been a toxic karmic partner that wanted them um, to feel powerless. Whoever the person is that you spoke the truth to. Yeah, somebody wanted domination over another person or they felt like they had domination over another person. But that ended out right after you said whatever you said. Yeah, somebody needed to find balance. This card says, I find balance between each sphere of my life. I am the master of my daily life. I make time to nourish the spiritual and the physical. I bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs of my body and soul. So somebody had to realize that another person was trying to keep them bound so they would not fulfill something that they needed to do spiritually. Like they could not nurture their self. They could not fulfill whatever it is that they needed to fulfill within their self for their soul. This is someone who needed to master something. Yeah, this is someone who needed to, to learn some type of lesson about self-love in order to fulfill the needs of their body and their soul. This is somebody that realizes that they were in some type of illusion. Whatever they were being promised was not going to be fulfilled. This was just something to keep them held down. This is something that did not exist. And now that the past is gone, they can't change the past of whatever it is that this person did. They're focusing on the present moment. This is someone that is getting their confidence back. And they're realizing everything happens for a reason. But they had to end something out when they were ready. So it's like they had to find out at a certain time. This could be someone that could have been very immature as well and they needed to mature a lot. And they were being taught some type of lesson and they didn't know. 